the youngest serial killer in Ecuador. At only 15 years old, he had already snatched the lives of at least 15 people with a 9mm caliber pistol. Juan Fernando Hermosa, better known as the Boy of Terror, led a gang of 10 young men of the same age who accompanied him in his numerous crimes. Most of his victims were taxi drivers and homosexuals. Se trataba de uno, un criminal de serie. Y lógicamente no solo. Era un grupo criminal. Eran muy jóvenes. Porque el único menor de edad era él. Los demás ya eran mayores de edad. Pasado los 18 de lo, yo, de lo que yo me acuerdo. However, within the terror gang, the only one who pulled the trigger to kill was Juan Fernando Hermosa. Una ocasión fue con una llave de rueda. Otra ocasión fue con una cartuchera. Otra ocasión con una arma de fuego, una, un revólver 22. Hermosa was born in Canton, Shushufindi, and some time later he would be taken to Babahoyo, where he would be adopted by Amada Suarez and Rafael Hermosa, who would take him to live in a populous neighborhood in the north of Quito. This was the city where he'd grow up, but also where years later he'd show terror among the people after starting his murders there. Hermosa's crimes totaled 23 murders, taking the lives of eight taxi drivers, 11 homosexuals, a van driver and his assistant, and two others. Hermosa wasn't yet 16 when he was arrested and prosecuted for his crimes. He would later be sent to a social rehabilitation center for minors, from which he managed to escape. However, he'd be recaptured to serve his sentence until 1996. That same year, Hermosa was found dead. El 28 de febrero de 1996, precisamente el día de su cumpleaños, la policía informa que Juan Fernando Hermosa fue hallado muerto en Balastrera, a orillas del río Aguarico, en la provincia de Sucumbíos. Lo encuentran con un disparo en la frente, varios cortes de machete en su espalda, maniatado, y su rostro completamente desfigurado. Se cree que alguien decidió justiciarlo. His corpse could only be identified thanks to the newspaper clipping he carried in his pockets, the Hermosa syndrome in the whole country.